Hello everyone, and if you've been following me along on the Javelin Journeys podcast, you've been following Mark Pulse, maybe you've been following me over on LinkedIn, you'll know that I'm a big advocate for Descript as a video editing tool. So Descript pretty much does everything I need it to do, and hands on heart, I've built an entire business around using it. Um, it's surprisingly affordable, it's great at what it does, it's been invested in by OpenAI, which means I know that it's got a good future and they're always bringing in new features that that work so if I rewind back probably about three four years things were a little bit more hairy we had lots of bugs that caused problems and still I saw a lot of people sticking with Descript and created a very thriving community around their users um, it's been interesting to watch them grow and mature into a business that I can now trust and uh, with the recent acquisition of Squadcast and lots of other exciting things in the pipeline for this year and the new AI features, I really can't think of any other platform that engages me as well as the Descript team do. So hats off to you guys. Um, Descript's a fantastic tool and I'm happy to throw my voice behind it. Um, why do I talk about the tools that I use? Well, it's simple. If you can use the tools that I use and deliver the same sort of results or results that are good enough for you for your own video editing, then you should absolutely be doing that. You're not a customer of mine and I wouldn't want to see you on my books. I'm happy to suggest all of my tools, all of my processes and in fact I've actually got a webinar coming up on the 28th which I'll drop the link in the description where you can join up and see how I do everything that we do here at Javelin. Um, from start to finish, from taking the video from a client who's recorded an interview or a monologue and turning that into hundreds of digital assets through the use of ChatGPT, Descript, Canva and a couple of other pieces of kit. So join us for that. Um, how to turn 30 minutes of video into over 200 digital assets in less than two hours of your time. Again, like I say, if you can do that, you should absolutely be copying that, doing it yourself, because why would you want to pay somebody else to do that unless you decide that you no longer want to do it, in which case, happy to chat. And if it's the sort of thing that you don't even plan on trying to figure out, then again, happy to have a chat. The point of this video today is to walk you through one of the new features that's um, on Descript. It's been available for some time, they've been making some big improvements to it, and it is the eye contact. Um, capability. So, I'm a big fan of using the AI. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the eye contact feature, but I think it is something that a lot of people have seen kicking about. I remember NVIDIA doing a, vi a promo video of it uh, probably about two years ago now, showcasing that they could do it, and finally Descript are bringing it in to a price point at $30 a month for the Pro package. It's affordable for everyone. I have to say my favorite feature in Descript has a toss up between studio sound, which removes all of the background noise and makes it sound like I'm in a recording studio, or remove filler words because everybody has ums and ers that they use, ledgers that they use while they're thinking, and remove filler words automatically removes those either from the entire video, from just your audio, or from the transcripts themselves. So that saves me an absolute ton of time. And I also love the chapter markers feature where you can ask AI to kind of chop up the content for you. It still needs a little bit more work because there's still chapters in there that don't quite do it justice. They're 30, 40 seconds long, but I'm sure they'll get there with it. But again, saves me an absolute pile of time. So the eye contact feature is where I can be looking away from the camera like this. And when I add that feature on, you'll see it momentarily it makes it look as though I'm looking back at the camera. Um, it's great for when you're reading off screen. So it's not designed necessarily for me looking like this and pointing at the camera. It's designed for where I've got a screen reader or um, <clears throat> some sort of um, screen reading device above behind the camera where your eyes are looking slightly off center. You might be looking at yourself on camera here and actually you should be looking up here where the camera is. Um, because let's be honest, we all need notes, we all need bullet points. It's really hard to do any sort of video without any form of um, note taking around to, to prompt you on the topics and, and conversation that you should be having. So that's the feature. How hard is it to use? Very, very, very simple. Click 
a button. That is it. You turn it on, it processes the video file, it does its AI thing with your eyes, and you'll see the outputs in this video. Like, I'm looking away from the screen right now, I'm looking above the screen, I'm looking below the screen. You tell me what you think. Is it convincing? Does it do what it says on the tin? Is it a feature that you use? If so, my affiliate link is in the comments. Um, sign up to Descript, have a play with it. There is a free tier if you go on to um, need this, the use of it much more than it's $30 a month for the pro package. I use it as a business and I've never had to go anywhere near that, that full capability and, and bandwidth that gets given with that pro license. So it's more than enough for most people. It's in the link below, give it a watch. If you want to have a play with it, have a play. I will see you in the not too distant future.